All this month, get any smartphone 32 gig and under for 50% off regular price at Appalachian Wireless. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. While supplies last, two-year agreement required. The announcement of many new jobs coming into Pikeville generated a lot of buzz throughout the region last week. One of those announcements coming during a groundbreaking ceremony of an industrial hemp greenhouse. That greenhouse and many like it across the state could now be in jeopardy due to a piece of legislation named House Bill 333, which primarily addresses overprescribing of narcotics. However, there is one particular section of the bill that raises questions. It is summarized incorrectly as, as being just about controlled substances. But in uh, Section 25, they have added some wording, uh, but it requires that CBD can only be used uh, with the prescription of the doctor or as part of a medical study. The effect on Kentucky, the, the effect on the farmers will be many farmers uh, who, who have invested millions in this industry will now lose, lose their investment. State Representative John Blanton of the 92nd District, who is a co-sponsor of House Bill 333, says that although the bill has passed the House, with the language in Section 25 remaining the same, he and others will ensure that the Kentucky hemp farmers will go unaffected. Initially, when this bill was drafted, there was never any intent to create a situation that would uh, have a negative impact on our hemp farmers here in Kentucky. It did pass out today with that language, however, with the certainty that the uh, sponsor will be working with uh, Commissioner Quarles uh, and the Senate and drafting an amendment to clarify that language to ensure that uh, we don't do anything that will have any kind of negative impact on our hemp farmers. House Bill 333 could pass through the Senate as early as Friday. Reporting from Pikeville for EKB News, I'm Sean Allen.